<laughs> I'm smiling because those were very good vibes. It was an amazing set, Mazi. Hmm? I can't tell. Oui. Hmm? Yes. When I kutesa kutesa. Yeah. So today we are. No, let me do this. Let me tell you where you are. Welcome you if you've just joined the show. Karibu sana. If you're late, it's okay. Us, we don't mind. This is the only class you can be as late as you want, but you won't want to miss it. You can make as much noise as you'd like. Remove all your devices. Record, take picture, selfie. In fact, comment and share our things at the Bounce254 Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And our hashtag is Bounce Nation. So we just had a very special introduction to our next set of guests. How are you, me? Yes. Yeah, we are uh, fine. Welcome to our humble home. Thank you. This is the lion of the family. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. Would you like to introduce yourselves, please? Uh, my name is Shiko. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was um, Kantai's manager. Mm -hmm. Yes. That must have been surreal, seeing his music, you know, yeah. and feeling his presence. He yeah. has a Nipsey Hussle kind of vibe. Yeah, sure. Of greatness, that is. Hi, what's your name? Well, my name is Kizi. Mm -hmm. I was Kantai's producer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How does it feel seeing your work still doing some magic, even after he's gone? I mean, it's incredible. It's an incredible feeling, you know? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So what have you brought for us today? What's good? Uh, we have an album mm -hmm. on the way. Mm -hmm. Actually, we are launching it today. Secure exclusive things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Today, so it's gonna be at um, where is the place? Space at Lounge. The space Lounge. Yeah. yeah. It will you know. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. Instead of, of Sunday, we pay each and every Sunday. Oh. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Now that we know, we can fix something for the future. Yes. Because right. we want his name to make it mm. to the stars. Yeah. Tell us about his album. Haha, ha, I asked the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wanted to know what you think about the album, not the logistics and the magic behind it. Oh, How do okay. you feel about this new album? Um, personally, I love it. Mm. And I was in the studio sometimes mm. with him, mm -hmm. holding his hand, making sure he's awake mm -hmm. and alert and focused. Mm -hmm. And um, he also used to come with his wife as well and his daughter. Mm -hmm. Um, this this is actually like the rebirth of Kantai. He wanted to make a comeback, mm -hmm. yeah. And um, for me, it's hypnotic. It takes you into a, literally a trance. Mm -hmm. Actually, the name of the album is Trance. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, he's also he he just wanted to give back to his fans. Mm -hmm. Yeah what they've been missing because he was away for a few years mm -hmm. yeah did you have any say in it like did you give in or take away like okay I, I know how he liked it i know how he liked doing things can we do it a bit this way can we do it that way did you have that much hands-on influence um okay it, uh, since he was mostly in the studio with kizzy mm -hmm. kizzy would suggest a few things mm -hmm. and he would adhere to those mm -hmm. Um, for me, I would be like, just continue pushing. At times he would be tired, but he's like, let's continue recording. Let's go on with this because it's something powerful, mm -hmm. something um, worth listening to, something worth purchasing. Yeah. What was one thing that he lived by? I can see you, I can hear from the story that you're giving me. He's a very hardworking, he was a very hardworking guy. Yeah. Um, he... He loved his family and he loved his fans. Mm -hmm. Basically, he was, uh, if I can say it in Swahili, mtu mm -hmm. Yeah, very jovial, extremely humble, mm -hmm. yeah, and also extremely focused. Yeah, you wouldn't tell him anything or when we're in the studio. Nini. No, he knows what he's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. He didn't even write his lyrics on paper. He would just ah, enter the booth, not, uh, do his thing, no, history. nothing. This okay. guy had it here oh, in his mind. Oh, gee. Mm -hmm. Yes. So he knew what he was doing. Mm -hmm. And he would speak words of wisdom even to me and Kizzy mm -hmm. when we were working. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the one thing you remember Kantai for before we get into the album now? Uh, Kantai was a G. Mm -hmm. You know, he had this cool vibe, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, he was a guy that, um, he was just fun to be around, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, he, um, he had so many friends. Yeah, we came from the same place, mm -hmm. Zimame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, he always came to the studio with guys, and it used to be fun. Mm -hmm. You know, the feeling was just, it was just electric whenever he was in the studio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds magical. Yeah, sure. Tell me about the, the eight tracks in the album. 
Why uh, this particular one? Well, um, um, the album is called Trends, as she said. Mm -hmm. You know, it has eight songs to it. Yeah, we did it like for four months. Yeah, so um, every day he was in the studio. So uh, the, the trans album was just a comeback album. It was there was nothing major to it. It was just a, a comeback album. He wanted like to come back to the scene, you mm -hmm. know, after ten years away from the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that that was all to it, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. What was he doing those ten years away? Was he just being with his family? Yeah, he was doing family stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, ask from him whatever he used to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plus he traveled a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, this guy, is, this guy has traveled a lot, Umsemekwa U.S. and everything. So, uh, yeah, he was just dealing with family, but he wanted that comeback so bad, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Do you feel the pressure of trying to get his name to greatness? Like, I feel like he, he's Kenya's MJ, like we're now getting his legs, like, Atukubali ende, atukubali, like yeah. we are refusing, we are not boarding that plane. Yeah. Did you feel a lot of pressure for that? before he died right now right now mm -hmm. yeah the pressure is actually very real mm -hmm. because even when we're doing these interviews and stuff mm -hmm. everyone is asking so why are you doing this what's the point of promoting an album for a dead person mm -hmm. yeah for us it's it's um leaving his wish mm -hmm. and continuing uh what he wanted mm -hmm. yeah to achieve yeah i think that's it's very deep I think he thinks it's deep too because he hasn't said a thing. And I'm not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> He's still mm -hmm. I, I will try to translate the vibe that I'm getting. But yeah. that's always something why. Yeah. Nice. yeah. I, I, I would like to have friends like you, Manze. Imagine mm -hmm. something that you worked all your life so hard for. Yeah. You finish the race, you rest, and then someone continues. The marathon is continuing, I can yeah. see. Yeah. What would you like to tell the fans of Kantai or maybe people who just listen to his music now? of the certain age group who don't really know who Kantai was. What would you like to say to them? Well, uh, Kantai, Kantai was there back in the day, you know, like the beginning of, you know, early 2000. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, what I would like to tell the, the, the youngings of today is uh, he had that vibe to it. Like if you listen to Kantai even right now, mm -hmm. you still like resonate with whatever he was talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, just go ahead and Google his stuff mm -hmm. and just listen to the lyrics. Mm -hmm. This guy was deep, deep mm -hmm. to the core. Yeah. It's timeless music. Mm -hmm. What would you like to say to wrap this up? Um, I'll use one of the lines in his song. Um, he kept saying, uh, keep it clean. Mm -hmm. Basically, keep it moving, keep it going, keep it um, fresh. Right? Um, he... This, this young ones, they look up to him, even every day I get asked, who is this Kantai? Mm. What did he live for? This guy was just real, mm. and he was extremely honest. Mm -hmm. yeah? Everywhere he went, people would be like, ah, this guy is annoying. He's full of himself. But that arrogance and pride that he had was actually part of his uh, gangster mm. side. Mm -hmm. But in a real sense, he was actually a very sweet person, mm -hmm. and he was a... Uh, he had a pure soul, mm -hmm. yeah. So just um, just be committed and be more dedicated to your craft, mm -hmm. and also know where know your roots, mm -hmm. yeah. Because him, he stuck to his roots. Nobody could copy his style, even if they try, they can't. Because Kanta is always Kanta. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Man, thank you. I am very proud of what you're doing. It's it's mm. very good. Yeah. I yeah. Let me tell you one, one thing. Kuna ngoma inaitwa huni nani? I don't think kuna DJ who watches I don't think so. I don't think so. That's a hit. That's a hit. Yeah. It continues to be a hit. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Thank you. Please. Thank you so. Oh, social media handles maybe. How can we get the album? Um, you can go to Songa mm -hmm. and Boomplay music apps to download and stream the music and then uh, 